Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yes. we will wait for five more minutes so so that more student can join. Okay. After that, we will start. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. I have some problem regarding setup of PostgreSQL. I've downloaded the PostgreSQL. But it's yeah, uh, uh, we will address during the live session, right?
Uh, okay, I think now we can start. Uh, yes, Swati, what is your problem? I've done the installation, but when I click on the server, then options are not coming, like password, spell time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how to set up my problem with this? Uh, in previous live session, we have give, given a detailed demo about installation yes, process. Uh, I watched the videos and the, and the PDF which has been provided in the portal also. So can you post the screenshot in the discourse? Okay. Yeah, so can I we, share my screen? Uh, I think not possible. Hello, it is visible to you. Right. Hello, my screen is visible. Right. So it's visible. Yes. So when I go to server, here options are not coming. Yeah, yes. these options are not coming. So can you refresh it? Yes, I have refreshed the page many times, but it doesn't work. Uh, please uninstall it and again try to reinstall. Right. Okay. Anyone have any doubt uh, in uh, week uh, one? Uh, slide number five or activity or the practice question. So may I ask a question? Uh, yeah, yeah. So two things. One again regarding installation. I have completed the installation, but uh, it just doesn't open up when I'm writing post uh, PSQL in the search item. It just doesn't open up. I don't know what is the issue. I, there is no error. Nothing comes up. Um, it's can, it's the uh, same can you search uh, PG admin is there or not? PG admin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm opening the SQL directly from the installation folder where it has installed, but it doesn't open. I will look for PG admin. Uh, yeah, yeah. Search for the uh, search in command front. Okay. Right. So, sir, in case it is not there, uh -huh. then. Not there. So please, uh, first you try to search in the. Then I'll your... post it on discourse. Maybe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, second, uh, Pradeep, I have uh, requested to get some insights into reflection assignment. I have tagged all of you, uh, the PODs, uh, and it has been around 10, 11 days that I have written over there. And we addressed this in the uh, previous live session, right? So in the reflection assignment, uh, the question will be based on the discourse post and the live session. And, hmm. and time will be, uh, uh, we announce the time in prayer. Yes, how much time? and for better clarification, like when we'll get the proper details regarding this reflection assignment, we'll get back to you. That is why I we see. Okay. I'm sorry, I was not... Uh... I did not attend last live sessions that where that where that where I was not aware about if the discussion has happened. Okay, once we get the complete information regarding it, we'll update it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So basically, we'll get enough time. That was my um, dilemma yeah, yeah. to understand, right? To yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like uh, we'll update regarding it to you prior to any other assignment, right? You don't need to worry about it. Okay. And topics of what you will be taking in discourse and live session would be carried forward to the reflection assignment. Yes, that is what we have thought of. 
Thank so you. this will be like uh, this deflection assignment like that will be like uh, before the quiz or uh, as i said uh, we'll get back to you regarding the details okay right now even like uh, we have to discuss it with the team and also one okay so uh, uh, this is the one like uh, which is like first time we, uh, you are doing right or uh, like yes, in the sir. previous two sessions no, also no. it has been done no 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 it was not done. okay 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 understood yeah. and there are marks for that or what yeah there are marks for it reflection assignment it's written in the uh, graded assignment how the graded how the uh, grades will be there it's written in the document okay 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 because uh, like i was thinking like i have seen that reflection assignment post in the forum but what i thought probably like it is from the previous session someone has asked because all the uh, previous posts are also visible right so that was the reason i thought like okay th this is not relevant because i didn't get anything on week 1 which states about uh, deflection okay so uh, sir uh, one uh, like uh, probably like a uh, technical question uh, like uh, these tables are also called relations right uh, now yeah. why sorry yeah yeah yes yes yeah why these tables are called relation because it's stored relations or what yeah in the relational database you know that the table are in the uh, stored in the row and the column right hmm so that's why we call it also as the relation refer as also relation no but re relation actually in, in true sense like when we say relation relation is the like uh, like uh, if you are taking something from a cross product of uh, two sets right no uh, yeah yeah no so here so what are the there sets, is the, different sets so something is a different so something mathematics is a some uh, like uh, relation is a different and the relational algebra something there is a slight different yeah so yeah. Can, where did you come that table is called a relation is it your interpretation or have you read specifically the table is a relation yeah no, table no, is a relation a yeah. relation we refer table as the relation right? as a relation yeah yeah so so sir my, my question is say for example when you say relational algebra okay so yeah. uh, like uh, even there like uh, sir has told that uh, you need to go through that discrete mathematics and uh, sets uh, like sets and all these things right so there if we see that relational uh, relation it defines that when you take a cross product of two sets and then from there if you choose some pairs those are called relations right like if i take a simple binary relation yeah that is in mathematics so you can Correct. see also there is one term in the magnetic disk so i just want to give an example of just so how the things are different in the mathematics or other term in and in the relational algebra so so simply stick with the uh, what uh, the dbms refer to that particular term so in the magnetic disk i just want to give an example in the magnetic disk this is a circular shape right so these yes, are, there known are letters as, there as readers uh, like yeah these are it. known as the tracks but in the so in the mathematics or the geometry so what is sector means sector means like uh, some part of that uh, circle like that area yeah yeah this is the point this point of the contact and this is known as the sector mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but in the dbms what we sector means this particular section we referred as the, this particular section as the sector so there is the difference between some term terminology difference between so you need to understand this okay so uh, so the the way that relation word is used it is not that relation yeah, which yeah, is yeah. mathematical relation right yeah 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 okay that okay okay because i was thinking Sorry, say, for me. example for example if the attributes when you define the schema you define the attributes right now each attribute has a domain uh, okay now now say for example if i say that uh, like attribute a has a domain d 
d1 and attribute b has a domain say for example d2 oh, okay let me write for this will be clear for other student also attribute a okay just so are, suppose, are you trying to interpret that way yeah suppose there is a, a schema definition yeah okay that schema has a1 and a2 uh, okay a1 and, and a2 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 right. now a1 has a domain d1 d1 and a2 has a domain d2 okay now this d1 and d2 are basically two sets now i take a cross product of these two sets d1 cross d2 yeah, okay yeah. so what i will get i will get some element from a1 and some element uh, I, I get a pair a cross b, uh, a comma b such that a belongs to d1 and b belongs to d2 yeah correct so and this a b can go inside this relation and let me tell you one thing uh, in the relation we when we cross product in the uh, means uh, in a relational database so suppose this r1 we cross product this thing right so this is one relation and this is one relation relation means table right so relation table or the relation so so we not cross product these two things I mean same attribute we cross product these two means a different different relation or the tables that you perform when you do a kind of a join operation right ah uh, yeah 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 but say for example uh, how the records in r1 will look like say for example a comma b will be a record a belongs to d1 and b belongs to d2 so in the logically it will look like this right and so this is the suppose one two two three correct correct so now yes now in yes. this figure one two is a relation right because one comes from from d1 two comes from d2 this is a this is coming from that cross product no 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 this everything is a relation in the dbms the whole set all the relational schema and the data instance all together we uh, uh, said that this as the relation right so well so in that circumstance the question is why it is called relation like is there anything any meaning of that or uh, just someone coined that term relation it uh, it uses that word uh, we referred as this as the relation because of i said previously so we represent this thing in the row right these are the row row and this is the column so that why tabular structure is there that's why we call this as the relation okay so this relation is, uh, this is nothing to relate, uh, do with that math mathematical like uh, discrete mathematics relation uh, no okay okay So this session is more like a discussion session. Okay. So can anyone tell what is the difference between? Sir, what is the difference between? Uh, what is data? And what is database? Right. So please tell anyone, anyone can tell, explain what you knew about this thing. So data is collection of information in unstructured manner, but data uh, has structured manner of data. So when you use the information word, so that is different meanings. Information is the process data. So that's something you uh, gives the uh, meaningful, uh, meaningful to you, the information. Yeah. 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 Data is something which represent the state of certain uh, some real life uh, like uh, real life objects. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And when we process that data, so that become information. Information. Right? Yes. And can someone tell what is uh, this database? Database is an application. Uh, database is an application. 
which uh, like uh, which stores up, uh, stores and uh, manipulate this data to min uh, like uh, by maintaining the like uh, asset properties or uh, like uh, maintaining the consist uh, consistency integrity and stuff like that and uh, so just want to uh, i'd like to add what rajiv you said that is the dbms system so database right. management and database yes. means the uh, information we store the interrelated information right so suppose Absolutely. we said the university database right so university database there is the different type of tables so suppose the university database yeah so there is different type of table so suppose there is one table is uh, like employee table yes 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 department yeah. table so related data in a database we store always interrelated data right so yeah we cannot store in the university the railway data so that is uh, yeah, meaningless here right, right right yes yeah so student and what Rajiv said, the DBMS means we use this information, how to store this, how to retrieve this data. So that is database management system. So database management system is a deal with the database, right? How to store it in the main memory, how to retrieve the data and query like everything. So that come under the DB. So, can anyone tell what is schema? So schema is a structure in which the data is stored. Uh, yeah. So, it is a kind of like blueprint. Blueprint of something. If we said the logic uh, means table, uh, uh, means database schema. So, then it will show the database all the databases design of the entire database so it simply means something design like so design of something okay so it's a data definition actually ah uh, yeah it's kind of definition so so suppose this is so this is a relation these are the attribute a b c so can anyone tell what is the attribute a, A, B, C, they are the attributes. Yeah, that are the properties. Sir. Correct. Ah, yeah, yeah. The columns, me. sir. The ah, columns yeah, are the attributes. Columns are the attributes. And as uh, previous someone said, the domain. So can you tell me what is domain? The attribute, like from uh, attribute, can take value from uh, from a set. So that set is called domain. Like from uh, like from where that attribute can take value. Say for example, if I'm if I'm storing the age, so age I can say that uh, okay, this is a uh, uh, real number. So real number is the domain. Yeah. So it means that this column suppose the defines the uh, said the domain of a. So Correct. that means in the simple terms that is a set of permitted value. Absolutely. So what value? So that is domain. And what is instance? Instance, sir, instance is a particular value, sir. Value stored in uh, schema. Record, yeah. record in that. Yeah. In in the uh, means database or the table, you know. So there is a continuously uh, there is an insertion operation also deletion operation also happened, right? So at a particular moment, what data is present on that uh, means um, table that is known as the instance. Okay. It is clear to you, right? What is instance? Sir, I have a doubt in, uh, sir, I have a doubt in practice assignment, question number three and four, sir. A question. I think that is we discussed in the previous live session. Okay, sir. Sir, now my question is, uh, means it's really confusing, sir, these two terms, logical data independence and physical data independence. 
so could you please define that sir uh, sorry sir let me interrupt like uh, after uh, introducing course only after two three days you have taken the session and you told that uh, you have taken that activity question so how can we manage to do the question in just two three days after releasing the week content so uh, the week one content was released on uh, friday uh, friday friday right yeah friday late evening it was released yeah 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 so it is one week time right but sir actually, i think no, like sir, actually no sir actually no let me let me speak actually no sir because uh, some of us we got the late uh, access to the course because of course change and many issues so uh, i got the course on tuesday itself so uh, well i supposed to do that uh, you can ask on the next session also okay so um, like in the week two activity i will yeah in the week okay. two activity okay okay, okay. thank you Uh, Pradeep, just a quick question. Um, now we have a textbook also, and then we have the slides also. Some concepts might not be part of the slides, but are we expected to have the understanding of the book, which will form the syllabus, or only the slides will form the syllabus? I can be specific over here. Data mining is one of the things which is not covered in the slides. However, it's part of unit one of the book. does that form the part of syllabus or should we skip no no whatever present in the slide that is uh, important to you and for the reference you can take sir uh, the reference book okay only detail about that if you want to go for it okay fine so the slides will form the syllabus when you uh, say yeah, important yeah. the slides will form the syllabus yeah, yeah. thank you so yeah someone asked that uh, so difficulty in the level of abstraction right so we will discuss up to not level of abstraction sir uh, logical data independence and uh, physical data independence physical data between those two sir yeah so i think instance is uh, clear to everyone so i think we can so can anyone tell why we use the level of abstraction so to understand the like uh, architecture uh, like uh, as a whole like uh, from a bird's eye view we need to do the abstraction so that uh, we can understand the coherent uh, functionalities uh no so first uh, let me uh, tell you why we use the abstraction abstraction means <laughs> we hiding the details so whatever required to user that only we provide so there is a, uh, one famous example for that so in the car the braking system right so you know that if you apply the brake the car will stop right so you do not know about the internal mechanism how it is working you only know that the if you apply brake it will stop so that is abstraction right hello correct correct yes yeah yeah so in the dbms system also we use the dbms system why we use the dbms system for you have some data you want to uh, store that in the storage storage system right so you need to extract that data so for the efficient extraction of that data you need some uh, for the so someone have to be developed that thing in so uh, so uh, some data structured use in the means this is suppose so for instance suppose this is your database and you stored this in the secondary storage right 
so you store this information in the secondary storage so you store this information in the secondary storage in that way so you can extract this is the efficient manner so for that you use the some data structure complex data structure right yeah yes for efficient uh, uh, retrieve of the data so suppose the end user for they they may not be some technical person so they only need the data how you can store that do not bother about it so it is the responsibility of the developer so only the require useful information is provided to end user right so there come into the picture of the level of abstraction right so sir there is one more doubt in the level of abstraction like uh, it is said in the lecture that uh, at the uh, logical level a programmer works uh, on the level of abstraction but uh, there is a mentioned question in activity question like uh, in what level the programmer works so their uh, answer is their uh, is physical level so there is confusion and, like programmer uh, please complete the sentence what is the program means someone who designed the database that also a program and someone designs the uh, web development so doing develop web development that this is also a program we call right so no, no. Suppose... i am i am i am talking in reference of like level of abstraction like there are three physical logical and then view view is yeah. for and uh, and uh, like uh, for people who is just not knowing anything but what about physical and logical programmer works at which level at physical or logical i just want to be clear okay okay let me tell you so in the, the program which work on the designing the physical physical schema of the database right so physical schema means how the data is stored in the uh, main memory uh, not main memory the secondary memory right so that program is working on some means this physical level right so design how the data is stored in the uh, this physical level or so this program is working on the physical level right so how data is stored what data structure is used which index method is used so that data can retrieved efficiently so this program is working on the uh physical level uh, physical level yeah and someone suppose you have only logical level you only design the table and what are the relation amongst the table suppose we already gives an example of that you design one database names a university right right so university has the table student so student has the roll number name so you logical uh, in the logical level you define this table as like this roll number and the this okay okay so got it got it thank you yeah yeah okay and uh, so do not confuse with this line i just stood for So can you please explain data definition language and data manipulation language? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I will explain. So let me complete. Someone ask the physical data independence. Okay. Sir. Yeah. And what is the view level? So view level in the student data, we uh, for this is for the security purpose, right? We do not want to see the what are the a relation present in the logical level right logical level what are the relation and what are the relationship amongst that relation or the tables so we only display this in the view levels to the user only the required data to them which is required to them right so and 
the physical data independence is present between this uh, logical level and the physical level right so so can someone tell me what is physical data independence this term means yeah, your logical layer uh, logical level will not be disturbed even though the uh, like without disturbing the logical level you can change the physical level so th ah. that is kind of your uh, physical layer in uh, physical layer independence ah, yeah so this is the lower level and these are the next um, means next higher level and the this is the higher level of abstraction so that's if you can say this thing as the physical data independence whatever you changes in this physical levels Correct. so that will not affect the upper level so hmm. i think previous session you have the confusion about that so yeah like uh, i argued that uh, like uh, that uh, it should not impact the immediate upper level and you told like uh, all the upper layers yeah yeah so that is directly or indirectly effect, that is right? impl uh, implicit actually you know uh, yeah. have to like explicitly call out that yeah yeah so so whatever changes in the physical level that will not affect the upper level right so that is known as the physical data independence and here uh, between so the uh, logical levels and the view level is the logical data independence so whatever we changes in the logical levels that will not affect not affect means significantly not affect right so if you delete the all the data that will affect right so if you delete the entire schema so significant is for that okay correct and this is achievable only like if uh, if the programmer uses a proper interface to write the program ah uh, yeah so that is logical data independence so i think it is clear someone asked that hello yes sir it is clear. yes sir yes sir yes. okay and what was next question someone asked data definition language and data management oh. so that is the data definition language and this is the dma data manipulation language so this data definition language is used to create some table schema or update the table schema or the delete table schema right so table schema means suppose sub create a statement right so this is used to create so first you create the blueprint of that tables right after that you insert the data into it right so like so you create using the create table statement some something like Table like employee, right? So employee has the EID means employee ID, E name, and the seller. So you define this thing using some create table statement. So you will learn in the next how the what are these command so this command is the, uh, as the definition is this uh, data definition command is a used to define the table structure right and update the table or the delete the table structure not only tables also the database also database or the index also right so sir basically and, like any logical level construct you can use uh, ddl ah uh, yeah yeah and whenever we used to uh, means working with the data 
So this is the data definition and this is the data manipulation. So something you already defines that this employee EID. So now you are insert data into it. So suppose the EID is E1. Enum one, this is data, right? Okay, you insert this data. So you delete. So you basically ins the DML command is a used to working with the data. So insert, select also, select you retrieve the data from the database or update the data and delete also. I think this is this is working with the define of the schema or this and this thing is working with the data data manipulation language. Is it clear? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think we can proceed to next discussion. Anjana, what? Okay, thank you, thank you, Pradeep. So, um, okay. So now we'll be discussing about query processing. So, how many of you are having doubts regarding query processing? Anyone, any doubt? I'm I have a doubt. S sorry? I have a doubt. Yeah, please go ahead. Like I didn't understand this concept. The query processing concept, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll be explaining it. Someone else was also speaking. Um, Nothing, ma'am. Uh, I got it. Okay, so let's begin with query processing. So the there are three main tasks in query processing. So the first one is parsing and translation, optimization, and evaluation. Right? So okay. So what happens is in the beginning, an SQL query is taken as an input, right? So uh, let us take an example, say select salary. I'm just taking an example, okay? Select salary from instructor where salary is less than 7500, okay? So this particular SQL query is taken as an input. After that, it is moved on to the parser and translator. Now, what the parser does is it will check for any syntactical error. That is, uh, uh, by that, what I mean is if there are any syntactical errors in a particular uh, SQL query, say, for example, here we have written select salary where salary less than 7500. That won't be uh, like correct, right? That will be syntactically at, uh, like it will be incorrect because we have not specified the table name. So, that is the main job of the parser. It will check for any syntactical errors, basically. Then what the translator will do is it will translate the SQL query into relational algebra expression. Now, remember one thing that to get a particular output, there can be a number of ways in which an SQL query can be written to get that particular output. In that similar manner, for a particular, for a single SQL query, there can be a number of relational algebra expressions which are equivalent, which will give the same output. So always remember that one thing. So this translator will basically gen, uh, like translate this SQL query into a number of relational algebra expressions. So, so the first relational algebra expression would look like you don't need to worry about the relational algebra expressions right now I'm writing because uh, we will be discussing about it in brief details in week four. So right now you can just look at it as an overview. Okay? So we have salary, then select salary 
less than 7500. So this is one of the relational algebra expressions that is generated. Then there, there is one more uh, type of uh, like relational algebra expression that can be generated that is so like salary less than 7500. Okay, there can be other ways as well. Right now, let us just focus on these two relational algebra expressions. Okay, so what will happen is a translator will generate the relational algebra in basically a query tree form. Now, when I say a query tree form, what I mean is like th these are the relational algebra expressions, right? So, uh, these are represented in query tree form by translator. So, by that, what I mean is at first the Thing that needs to be uh, the column that needs to be uh, returned or fetched, then the condition salary less than 7500, and then finally the table. So, this will be uh, a, a query to a query tree will be translated uh, like uh, this particular. So, any num each and every SQL query that will be taken as an input by the translator and the parser will be converted into a query tree or a relational algebra expression, basically a query tree only. So now, now the next thing is this particular tree will be taken as an input by the optimizer. Now what the optimizer will basically do is like remember that for every relational algebra operation, there can be a number of different algorithms. By that what I mean is say for example, let us take this particular condition, select salary less than 7,500, right? So, say for example, the tuples in the salary column are in a sorted manner, are in a sorted manner. Then what we can do is we can use a binary search. However, we can also use a linear search. How? By, uh, checking, uh, by checking all the tuples if they are less than 7,500 or not, right? If there are indexes created on it, then we can also use indexes. So these are the number of algorithms that can be used uh, with every other. So these are known as plans. Okay. So what an optimizer will do is it will uh, generate a plan. Uh, it will generate the plans which are attached with different algorithms, right? Then it will find the cost. It will find the cost of those plans. When I say it will find the cost of those plans, what I basically mean is like it will find out the number of disk access the number of blocks, all of these will be studied in week 12 in brief detail. So you don't need to worry about it. Uh, so yeah, and how it will uh, find out the cost is it will find out the cost from the statistics of the data by statistics of the data. I mean, the uh, the relations that are present there, the tuples that are there, it will also consist the data dictionary, which means the metadata data about the data, which means that it will also consist of uh, the column name, what are the column names, what are the different data types, what are the uh, different uh, length of the data types. So all of these will be there in the statistics about the data. So optimizer will fetch all the statistics about the data and then it will uh, take out the, uh, like it will select the plan which has, uh, uh, which is the most cost effective. So that particular plan will be the execution plan. Then the execution plan will be taken as an input by the evaluation engine, which is the processor. So what it will do is it will run that particular query or expression and then it will give the query output. Yeah, so that is it about uh, query processing. Any doubts? Please go ahead. So ma'am, like when you create these trees, right? Like yeah. uh, in the optimizer, right? Yeah. yeah. So you created the, for each, uh, like uh, like RA one, RA two, like uh, yeah. relational mm -hmm. algebra, like uh, definitions. You create a one one tree, right? Yeah, right. So, is there a possibility that like uh, uh, like uh, I cannot construct a uh, like situation, but is there a possibility the possibility that uh, it can form a uh, a cyclic graph? Um, a cyclic graph. Uh, sorry. Uh, that is not possible. Not possible, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. 
because like uh, i'm not able to construct any examples like probably i'll, uh, I'll have to think on that but uh, you are saying like it is generally not possible to create that kind of a yeah. uh, query that uh, term is uh, referred for that expression tree right mm -hmm. so that means it it will be a definitely a kind of a dag ah uh, yeah okay 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 Ah, uh, yes, Sanjana, you can. Yeah. Okay. Any other doubt? Anyone? The one, um, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not aware of the name because I cannot see it right now. Uh, someone said that they are not getting the idea of this particular query processing. Is it clear now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, it's clear. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any doubt in query processing? actually very nicely explained because uh, like uh, probably we had some doubt but with that explanation it is making much more sense actually okay so now it's clear right yes 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 okay so any other doubts anybody from week one regarding anything like le level of abstractions or anything any doubt Please feel free to like come up and uh, let us know your problems. Otherwise, we won't know it, right? So we won't be able to solve it out. So, ma'am, that uh, Python program, like uh, that was like uh, given as a kind of uh, comparison. Okay. Yeah. Like we need to go through uh, like uh, that Python program. Like uh, those things will be covered later, right? Yeah. Like it will be covered in the seventh uh, week seven, basically. Okay. 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 Yeah. Because uh, right. like uh, I think the programs were uh, like uh, just uh, abstractions. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right now you don't need to focus on that. That. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ma'am, any idea how the online proctored exam will be for DBMS? Uh, online proctored exam, it will be like. Online exams, they will be online exams basically. Like you will be shared the details of when it will be. I guess you all know when it will be held, right? It is in the grading pattern, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, ma'am, is, is it yeah. like that you will give the database and we should query for some particular output? Right. Yeah. Like right. That, yes. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, do we have any? means we should do it in our local machine or in any online computer thing, no no, no it, uh, you can do it on your local machines and the databases so will should, be shared uh, with you yeah so we should uh, do it on our local machine and copy the query and paste it on a portal right 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 That's all the you. like all the details will be shared with you you don't need to worry about it. okay okay uh, just one question. Uh, you ask about the graded assignment, right? How to solve it? Or... Ah, yes. The oh, okay. uh, practice assignment three and four, I ask. Oh, okay. Yes. Means it's not like a problem, it's just objective question, but I got confused those two terms. Uh, Uh, practice assignment question number three right yes sir yeah by concept of logical data independence a change in the logical data 
level of a DBMS should not affect which other level of abstraction? This question, right? So, yes, sir. Screen is not visible, sir. Are you uh, sharing, sir? Uh, no, no, I am not sharing. I'm just to read out the question. This is the question, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we already discussed about that the logical data independence is exist between the view level and the logical level, right? So by definition, in yes, sir. Uh, so can you tell me what is the definition of logical data independence? So that is uh, any change in a logical level should not affect the other two levels, physical or uh, no, 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 view the view level. level only. View level only because the uh, logical data independence is uh, exist between the view level and the logical level, right? So, whatever we changes in uh, the uh, this logical level, it sh should not affect the view level, right? So, sir, is so, that mean that it can be uh, the physical level can be affected? No, no, no. So, so let me. see, always like it is the like immediate level above it. Okay, okay. So, everything is a depend on the physical level, right? <coughs> physical level right so whatever say you changes in the physical levels it should not affect the upper level right so above the physical levels it exists the data abstraction that is the logical right logical level exist logical level data abstraction and above that exists the user level uh, user, not user levels, the view level. Yes, sir. So this logical level data independence is exist here. So whatever changes you done in the logical levels that should not affect the or not affect the view level. That is logical data independence. That is the definition of that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And so I hope it is clear to you. Question three is. Yes, sir. Now with this uh, diagram, it's pretty much yeah. clear, sir. Yeah. So uh, you can say you now the yeah. Yes, sir. So, Continue, sir. Yeah, physical level is means above the physical levels is exist to the logical levels and above the logical levels, yeah, view level. So this we we abstract in this way, right? This thing. Okay. Yes, sir. And what is the fourth question? It is similar only, sir, to third question. Okay. And the, whatever changes in the physical levels, that should not affect the upper level. So upper levels means the logical and the view level. Yes, sir. Now it is clear, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Anjana, you make a thing. Swati, I am not able to understand your question. Can you please explain? What do session, you know? session, someone's talking about some exam, pop test exam. Yeah. So, will you conduct mock test for this since it's new for us? 
no no mock test will be conducted sir then any guidelines will be provided uh, swati uh, swati will be given a set of sql questions set of practice questions yeah hmm. okay abhi lakshya what is your problem can you unmute and tell ma'am i have tried to uh, load the data set uh, on pg admin 4 but it is showing the uh, the it is failed to restore that database like i am not able to uh, restore that database so how can i do that um, so bento would you like to take it Okay, so you have added the binary path, right? Sir, uh, I am using Mac, so uh, I do, I am not uh, sure about the Windows. So, so can you please explain uh, how can I set up this on Mac? hi abhil i am window user so i am not so can i give an idea about how to restore the data in the windows so it may help or any other mac user here am i audible right yes pretty is audible yeah is there anybody who is using mac so that you can help out because we all are using windows basically okay. yes, i have tried all the uh, all the instruction which are given on the drive like which, which are in the resources but i don't know why it is not setting up that path uh, uh, you I set have... the binary path right yes sir i have set the binary path then and, yeah then i reach uh, then i have created the university database then in instruction manual it is written that you have to right click and uh, go to restore that database and uh, retrieve that dot tar file from uh, from that uh, database university database and i have okay. also done that and uh, now uh, in manual it is showing that it is successfully uh restored but uh, on my machine it is showing that uh, it is failed to execute it uh, can you refresh it and uh, please check the database is present on say university or not and please check that table it's it is present or not like if you if you loaded the university database you can write select a star from student or select a star from tax anything no sir but database is uh, not loading so i can't see the tables and schemas and all that of that of university database okay, can you uh, um, can you uh, click on schema Yes, sir. Then tables. Yes. It means inside the database schema. Yes, sir. Then, tables. Then tables. It is showing tables or not? Uh, sir. Uh, in the university database. Ah, uh, yeah, university database. Like this book author. No, sir. hello yeah you can check also the cell 
uh, yes sir, uh, these types of uh, tables are now are showing on the database ah uh, yeah so i think that is the problem of uh, means pop up message i think you okay. have loaded the data data set yeah yeah uh, one second sir yeah, let me run this query I think everyone have installed the uh, PG admin right in their system and upload uh, loaded the file. So please practice the SQL query and we will take the session on the next week. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Any other doubt regarding week week one content? Hi, Rajiv. Hello. Hello. So you have asked a relationship. I want to add something. In mathematics, a relationship means relation between two or more set of values. But in RDBMS, uh, relations means relations exist between two tables like foreign key and primary key. That's why we call it one tables relations. So uh, can you come again? I couldn't follow actually correctly. Okay, okay. So see, in uh, RDBMS, relations means relationship exists between two tables, like one is foreign key and other other is primary key. So yeah. that's why we call one table is called relations. Okay, that is relation. Ah, yeah. Okay. So I hope you got it. But uh, actually, uh, like uh, but then, uh, uh, like, uh, but then, how this discrete uh, mathematics will come into play? Like when you, whenever you will do, do some join operation, only, only that time. No, in mathematics, relationship, relations means relationship, relationship between two or more set of values. Correct. So, two or uh, between two or more sets. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, you take the take those values by defining a cross product between those uh, two sets. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And in, if you see the outer join, outer join also does this cross product, and then you take a subset like uh, through uh, through mm -hmm. some filtering, right? Mm -hmm. See, in 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 RDBMS generally, so relationship means relationship exists between two tables. Like one is mm, primary key, and other is foreign key. So that's it not just okay. means so okay so at least like uh, it is a safe assumption that this relation and the mathematical uh, nomenclature of relation is not same uh, yeah yeah okay so, sir can i ask one more question like uh, see if it is uh, irrelevant like you can uh, like uh, you can skip this uh, answering this question okay uh, yeah yeah so yeah. okay so uh, like uh, there are two essentially like one is say for example you get a clickstream data okay clickstream data means like say for example like you have a website okay and then uh, user uh, visit that site okay how many users are like uh, like whenever user clicks on certain uh, like say for example buttons or maybe certain areas in that page that will be captured as a clickstream again Hi. say for example uh, user agent is a clickstream information time is a uh, uh, like information Okay, then you are, which browser you are talking, uh, calling from, whether it is a mobile or a laptop, uh, 
laptop or mobile device or iPad. So these are kind of clickstream data. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Now the question is, say for example, you are sending this clickstream data to uh, like uh, this uh, database. Okay. You uh, are recording yes. that. Uh, so yes. Is it worth like because clickstream data actually it is a huge data, right? Ah, yes. Like, is it worth saving that in a uh, like RDBMS settings? So see, it depends on use cases. It's a small scale or a large scale. So suppose uh, if it is full, then we can store in RDBMS. If it is not useful, then if some other database is much efficient than RDBMS, then we can store. Suppose in no scale is better efficient than uh, RDBMS. Some is some some cases then we can store in no scale database like that so it depends on each cases okay so uh, but like is there any relation with that uh, whatever the tps the that can be supported by this database any yeah, relation uh, between that and uh, this tps means? Uh, yeah, transaction per second uh, uh, can you uh, repeat your question I transaction uh, okay Say for example, like uh, is there a kind of a limitation that this RDBMS has with uh, number of transaction per second? Uh, actually, I did not know this. get that question. Yeah, no, no. Actually, I did not. Uh, I'm right now. I have no answers for this question. So you okay, can okay. not a problem, you can not a we can post in this discourse. Uh, so okay. we will try to answer that question. Yeah, another question was, say, for example, you have some uh, like uh, one table, okay. Uh, now yes. uh, you go and uh, do some update on that table, uh, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, not the table structure, uh, but the data, okay. That uh, means you are performing some DML operation, okay. Uh, yes, yes. Now the question is, whenever you do these DML operations, does this database also store the previous value and the uh, next value? Like uh, uh, I can give yes. an example. Yeah, I, yeah. I think uh, uh, database is stores. Bo both the both the values. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. A, it is maintained in the log. One log is maintained in the. That's why when we perform the rollback. Uh, here, here, here uh, just a minute. Let me just uh, give you uh, one explanation, whichever I know. The, this okay. the, this question actually uh, depends on how you define your database what and all you are determining to store into that all these things like one is if you are uh, taking a simple table and you you are maintain you might maintain master tables you might maintain transaction tables like that okay now in that transaction table you can have current transactions carrying on all these things it can go right now suppose you, if you change say a value in the master table like student uh, say, uh, say something like uh, some name of uh, or his address address you have changed then what normally we do is there will be one one transaction table which we will be maintaining for changes in the addressing address table and there will be one table which we will be maintaining for uh, sorry as a master table so so always when we are querying for the current address we will be taking for from the ma master table and when we are querying for what was its previous address we will go back to that uh, the previous table wherein we will say these were the updates which is maintained even log log what normally people do is that log also you can uh, uh, maintain as an xml or as a table or even as a simple text file all these possibilities are there. Hope, uh, uh, hope I made sense. Okay, so you are saying like database will not do it automatically unless being instructed to store yes. the older information. Yes, yes. You need to design the database in such a way. What, what normally happens is like, like, for example, if you are changing the address of one person. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> one way is you can take the master table then update it by simply replacing it okay so normally what people do is that for a robust database what people will do is that they'll pick this old address 
and put it into a log table wherein it say this particular address on this particular time this particular uh, uh, this particular date this particular time has been changed to this particular uh, new address so that will be uh, that will be stored separately this is actually required for uh, all these changes uh, continuous changes whatever is happening and where we need to track the correct correct uh, yeah older one older Thank ones you. yes 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 okay great explanation thank you sir thank you so much uh, i hope rajit is this help absolutely absolutely so any other questions yes yeah, sir can you please explain database system internal that chart i have not understand exactly ha uh, which one sandeep yes yeah, sir database system internal in module 5 there was one slide hello yes sandeep that is just an overview which are the use and where the query processing and how the data is stored in the means physically stored so that that is just an overview so if you want to explain uh, explore more about it you can refer to the reference book okay okay yeah yeah someone i have a problem regarding a file to select under the unit script so yes swati can you explain what is the exact problem when i when i click on university db and go to resource then i have just problem which file to select uh, you have to select dot tar files dot tar university dot tar It's not showing in my file selection. Aya? Oh, this no such file of university dot tar. Okay. Ah, uh, first please download. Have you download the all the data set in your local machine? No, I haven't downloaded. I am following the set which has been, uh, which you just shared in the previous class. Ah uh, yeah. Ah, uh, first download the data set, then extract the database, and after that go to the PC admin. Okay, let me show you. Ah, uh, is it visible to you? Yes. First create a database. Suppose the universe. Okay. Okay. Then select a re restore. Here the custom or or the tar file. Then here select the file. Right. So. 
you have to select this file university I've done the same thing but these files are not showing in my so there is no such file in your yeah yeah this no such file top down so please select here the correct location where we store where you store this file right go to the correct location of that so like you can see here is a, this is the navigation where you can use so you can see uh, there is a my uh, university dot r file right so just select it and restore here you can see you get the idea right yes i get the idea but again it's not showing so okay uh, did you download the dot r files from uh, drive I need to check. Okay, please download first. Uh, hello hello swati so yes. uh, so who asked this question swati right yes sir so let me share my screen um, uh, my screen is visible right hello this is visible so you have to go resource from instructor then click to view the resource. This I have already done. This I have downloaded then, it. Okay, then you have to download this. Okay, so let me download. So So after the downloading, Then after the downloading, you have to extract. So let me see. Hello, my screen is visible. Yes, visible. So I have extracted the uh, data set folder. So inside the data set, so there are three. FLIS, LIS, then university. Then we have to go to PG admin. So suppose let's create one database, create database, data name like FLIS. So save, then replace, 
I think FLS. So then we have to restore, then custom or tar files. Then you have to select file name. Then inside, so I have stored inside the desktop data, then data set, then FLS, then FLS dot tar. You have to select, then restore. Then successfully completed. Like this, you have to. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sir. Hi, yes. Sir, and uh, like this, uh, the screen is showing the successfully completed. Yes, sir. This dialog box, I am not getting this dialog box. Oh, means you you are not getting successfully completed, right? Yes, sir. I am getting a uh, failed to yeah, just restoring the backup. Okay, so you can suppose this happen. You can check then schema, then tables. Then if if all the tables are present, I think uh, that data is restored. I think problem in pop up the box, popping the box. I think. So I think. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, table is showing, and this query browser is also showing. So I think. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Your data is restored. I think. Database is just, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, please try Swati. If any problem of it, then please let us know. We will try to solve it. So if you have any doubt, you can ask regarding the activity practice question or anything regarding week one. Okay, so uh, anyone have any doubt regarding week one? Right. <laughs> Sir, uh, not week one, but say for example, like uh, uh, when we create a database, okay, and we uh, say for example, this university database, like we import that and then we do certain changes, okay, and now we need to, uh, we want to share that with someone, right? So, uh, like, uh, we can uh, like uh, we need to create that tar file again right ah uh, yes yeah you can create dot tar files or dot sql files okay so uh, that will be through that pg admin interface like uh, will this be covered under like uh, some week or like taking the, the kind so, of uh, uh, this uh, this is not i think not required so you can explore uh, so if you want to create dot uh, tar files, just right click and so I if you want to mm, uh, if you want to show in the next live session, I will show how to create dot tar files, how to create dot SQL files. How to yeah, perfectly. Yeah, that will be helpful because like uh, say for example, even if uh, like uh, between the students, if we want to see like uh, we can share the databases. 
okay or maybe like later on it will be very important because you do some work and then you share the database with someone because we are not using any docker image right hi uh, yeah yeah uh, i will i will explain in the next live session yeah that's please remember uh, i will i will explain sure sure thank you sir. okay any other doubt anyone very less people are there so if nobody has any doubt then maybe we can wind up any any doubts regarding week one installation anything I think like next week also like uh, at least for the uh, first session next week like uh, if we have some uh, problem like we face some problem during that installation right like uh, we can cover right yeah yeah yes yes if you have will... any, yeah if you have any doubts regarding the installation <coughs> database anything then we'll we'll figure that out in the next session Yes, yes. Or you can also do one more thing. You can, uh, if you are having any like problems in installation or anything, you can simply like take a screenshot and post it on the discourse. Like that way, we it it be easier for us to help as well. Yes, yes. Actually, like uh, I'm planning like whenever uh, like uh, today evening like night I will be installing that and mm -hmm. I will take the entire like uh, screenshot. Like what are the steps I followed? Okay. Because if it goes successful, then uh, that will be helpful for others also. Right. Oh, Thank you so much, Rajiv, for that initiative. Not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Anybody? Any doubt? Or shall we wind up? Okay. Yeah, I think we won. Uh, like you have uh, given the explanation in uh, last two sessions very well, and whatever doubts, like uh, majority on. That query processing, like uh, that that part, and that logical level, physical level, and schema instance. So that was been right. like nicely covered. Okay, so like that is clear, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. So, I guess then we can wind up. Yeah, ma'am. Is there any uh, live session regarding the uh, submission uh, submission process of uh, graded assign uh, programming assignments? A live session. Uh, yes, ma'am. Like, uh, how to submit the uh, programming assignments in BGNS? Uh, yeah. Like, we've given a set of practice questions. So, you can just type the query. So, if it is correct, it, it will show 100 by 100, and you can submit the so this will be so when you uh, test them this will be so in the published test cases the 100 by 100 then we will evaluate in private test cases then uh, so result will be showing according to the private test cases so and same the, the way like uh, the, the those uh, python uh, yeah, yeah python test cases right uh, yeah, yes yes and we're probably using the same interface uh, so yeah um, so I will update in the next live session. Actually, so no there problem, will no be problem. there will be a SQL editor or not? I'm not uh, sure okay, about. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll have to discuss it among the team, and we'll let you know. Sure, sure. sure. Okay. And do not worry if you have any doubt, you can post it in the Discord. Discord, yeah. Right. Yeah. Individually, if you have any doubt, so. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank, uh, you thank you, everyone. Have a nice thank day. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll wind up you. the session. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.